Hello everyone. Welcome to EasySend's workflow manager tutorial. In this video, we'll cover conditions. We use conditions to determine if a step we added will be skipped or applied. Let's go to the builder and see how to use it. On the webflow screen, click the workflow manager option. Now we're looking at the workflow manager screen that contains steps we created in a previous video. To add a condition, hover above a step and click the three dots. Click condition to continue. On the next step condition window, First, provide a description about the use case that triggers the conditions, and then decide what will be the result the condition invokes. Skip the step or apply the step. A condition consists of at least one logical expression with the following parameters. Selector, operator, and value. Start with adding a selector by selecting a data item from the model. It is possible to use a shortcut by using dots. Each dot represents a hierarchy in the model, starting with the current item and moving up the hierarchy by adding each dot. Continue and select the operator that will determine the logic relation between the selector to the value. Lastly, input a value that can be static or a dynamic data item from the model. To add an additional logical expression to the condition, click the Add button and repeat the described steps. Remember, if more than one logical expression is defined, an operation between them must be selected. For additional information about step conditions, make sure to click the link in the video's description and check out our knowledge base and its articles. That's it for now. See you in our next videos.